Mankind has a long history of using plants and weeds for their intoxicant, medicinal, and social uses. In fact, tobacco use appears to be as old as human civilization itself. The tobacco plant has been grown and cultivated since 6000 BC, and its addictive effects are well documented. Approximately 1 billion men and 250 million women all over the world smoke. Tobacco killed 100 million people in the 20th century. If current trends continue, it is on its way to killing 1 billion people in the 21st century. Every day, 80,000 to 100,000 people around the globe become addicted to tobacco. Smoking takes away 15 years of a person's life. In addition, Second-hand smoking kills more than 600,000 people around the world each year. Furthermore, healthcare costs related to tobacco are estimated to be 500 billion per year. In the United States, approximately 400,000 people die of smoking-related illnesses. In other words, tobacco kills more people than alcohol, AIDS, car accidents, illegal drugs, murders, and suicide combined. Tobacco addiction begins at an early age. 18.1% of high school children in the U.S. are current smokers. In this country, 4,000 young people try their first cigarette each day. Approximately 800,000 packs of cigarettes are consumed by young people in the U.S. each year. More than 6 million U.S. youth under the age of 18 will die due to smoking-related illnesses if something is not done now. Tobacco use causes damage to several organs. We will describe some of smoking's effects on our bodies using a 3D animated model of the human body. We hope this will help you understand the hazards of tobacco use and contribute to increasing the numbers of children who say no to smoking the first time and every time. Tobacco smoke contains more than 4,000 harmful substances, many of which can cause cancer. Some of the harmful substances found in tobacco are ammonia, used in toilet and floor cleaners, ethanol, found in alcohol, DDT, found in insecticides, nicotine, the most addictive substance known to humankind, arsenic, found in ant poison, acetic acid, found in vinegar, carbon monoxide, found in car exhaust fumes, hydrogen cyanide, a poison, cadmium, used in car battery fluid, and many more. Tobacco can affect all parts of our body, including the skin, nails, teeth, gums, hair, eyes, bones, as well as several organs. Before we proceed to the hazards of smoking, Let's take a look at a normal respiratory physiology. Oxygen is an important component of human life. Oxygen is needed by the body organs and tissues to function. The complex brain process initiates respiration, leading to the diaphragm going down and creating a negative pressure, resulting in entry of air with oxygen through the nose and passing through the pharynx then the larynx into the trachea, which in turn connects to the bronchus. The tracheal tree is lined by cartilage, which prevents collapse of the trachea. The bronchus then goes through several bifurcations leading to the bronchioles. At the end of each bronchiole are the alveoli and alveolar sacs. Blood capillaries surround the alveolar sacs, where gas exchange takes place. By the process of diffusion, the air from the alveoli move from the alveoli into the capillaries. The blood from the capillaries goes into the arteries that carry oxygenated blood to the tissues, where oxygen is released into the tissues. Carbon dioxide diffuses from the tissues into the capillaries that go to the veins that carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs, where carbon dioxide diffuses into the alveoli, and from there, the air carrying carbon dioxide is exhaled into the air via bronchioles, bronchi, trachea, larynx, pharynx, and nose. The airways are lined with cilia, which is like fine hair that helps filter the air. In addition,
The air is also moistened by mucous membranes and warmed by blood. When the air is polluted with smoke and environmental pollution, it can damage the cilia and mucous membranes, leading to disease. Let's now take a look at tobacco's effect on the major organs, such as the lungs and heart, that are affected by smoking. Then, we will examine the effects of smoking on other parts of the body. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, or COPD, is now the third leading cause of death in the United States. It kills over 100,000 people per year in the United States alone. It is a serious disease that is characterized by airflow limitation, which is chronic, progressive, and not fully reversible, but preventable. If not diagnosed and treated, over a period of time, COPD <laughs> makes it harder and harder to breathe. COPD usually refers to two different diseases of the lung, namely chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Smoking is the leading culprit for this disease besides occupational dust and air pollution, as well as secondhand smoking. In addition, genes, infections, socioeconomic conditions, as well as an aging population are also contributory factors. The direct medical cost for COPD in the US is $30 billion. When a person smokes cigarettes, it causes destruction of cilia and changes in the mucus glands, as well as destruction of the alveolar septa. In chronic bronchitis, there is inflammation of the bronchus. This allows thick mucus to build up in the bronchial tube, which in turn prevents sufficient air carrying oxygen into the alveoli where the gas exchange takes place. This can result in patients having low oxygen levels, increased sputum production, and shortness of breath, wheezing, and recurrent lung infection that can put increased stress on the heart. In emphysema, the smoke and content of cigarettes can damage the alveolar wall, which then loosens its elasticity and results in an increase in the fragility of air sacs, leading to poor gas exchange and air trapping. This causes cough, shortness of breath, and respiratory failure. In addition to COPD, cigarette smoking can also cause asthma by causing irritation of our airways. Smoking can cause irritation of the large airway and can increase production of mucus, leading to shortness of breath and decreased oxygenation. Coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath characterize asthma. The direct health care cost of asthma in the United States is $11.5 billion and the indirect cost resulting from lost work is $4.6 billion. Pneumonia is an infection of the lungs. It can result in significant risk of death and morbidity. It accounts for more than 10 million doctor's office visits and 600,000 hospitalizations a year. Smokers are more prone to pneumonia. The smoking repeatedly damages the smoker's cilia and alveolar cells. Cilia are the hair-like follicles that help sweep mucus out of the airway and into the pharynx that is either coughed out or swallowed. The toxin in cigarette smoke kills those cilia and induces more production of mucus. Hence, infections progress and can cause fever, chills, weakness, cough, congestion, decrease oxygenation, and even respiratory failure. Approximately 375,000 people are living with lung cancer in the U.S. Each year in the United States, approximately 220,000 people are diagnosed with lung cancer. It accounts for 28% of all cancer deaths. Smoking is the main cause of lung cancer and contributes to 80 to 90% of lung cancer deaths in the United States. The total health care cost of cancer in the United States are $201.5 billion. Our bodies are made up of billions of cells that grow and divide, repair and die in a predictable manner. Cancer occurs when a toxin or cancer-producing substance interrupts the normal harmony of the cell, leading to an uncontrolled division and growth. Cancer cells lump together and form a mass of extra tissue that continues to grow and then spread all over the body. The mass can impair circulation, 
apply pressure on organs, cause destruction of vital cells, and impair the function of organs. There are more than 4,000 potentially harmful substances in tobacco that can cause cancer. These substances, if inhaled and sent to the lungs, can cause damage and changes in the lung cells, which may become cancerous over a period of time. This can impair oxygenation, blood supply, and pressure on the trachea, causing a person to become short of breath and eventually lead to respiratory failure. Most people associate smoking with lung problems, but smoking is also a major cause of heart disease and blood pressure problems. Nearly 30% of all coronary heart disease deaths in the United States each year are attributable to smoking. Smoking doubles the risk of heart attack and stroke. A person's risk of heart attack greatly increases with the number of cigarettes he or she smokes. Smoking damages the arteries of the heart and brain, resulting in heart attack and stroke. A single cigarette can impair circulation for up to 45 minutes by constricting the small blood vessel, in addition to decreasing the blood oxygen supply. Also, smoking increases the risk of abdominal aortic aneurysm, which is a dilation of major vessels supplying the blood to your abdominal organs and lower extremities, resulting in circulation problems there. Smoking cessation leads to decrease in the risk of cardiovascular associated mortality. People who have had a heart attack can experience as much as a 50% reduction in the risk of another heart attack and cardiac death. Cigarette smoking leads tar and other substances from a person's mouth to the lungs and then to the alveoli. In the alveoli, by gas exchange, the harmful products enter the bloodstream. They then reach the coronary vessels which are the blood vessels supplying the heart. These toxins from cigarette smoking lead to inflammation, thrombosis, and fat deposits in your heart vessel. This plaque in turn decreases the flow of blood supply to your heart muscle. This leads to heart attack and even death. Patients who are experiencing the symptoms of a heart attack complain of a pressure-like chest pain behind the sternum, radiating to the left arm, accompanied by shortness of breath. This is a life-threatening emergency and can be prevented by not smoking. Stroke is one of the leading causes of death. It affects more than 700,000 people each year in the United States. The risk of stroke is more than double amongst smokers. The harmful substances in cigarettes can make their way through the arteries into the vessels in the brain causing a buildup of fatty plaque in the brain vessels, which can block the flow of blood to the brain tissues, resulting in damage to the brain leading to stroke. In addition, smoking also decreases the amount of oxygen in the blood, making the heart pump faster, which creates some turbulence and increases the chances of forming clots that can dislodge and go to the brain vessel, leading to stroke. The good thing is that this can all be prevented if we quit smoking or don't smoke. One in 20 Americans over the age of 50 has peripheral artery disease or PAD. The annual economic cost of peripheral artery disease is 164 to 290 billion dollars. PAD develops when your arteries are clogged with plaque, which are fatty deposits that in turn decrease the blood flow to the extremities, leading to pain and cramping during walking, and ultimately loss of blood supply to the extremities that may result in a need to amputate your legs. Smoking increases the risk of PAD several fold. It also increases the risk of aortic aneurysm, which is bulging out of aorta, which is a big artery that carries blood from the heart and distributes it to the rest of the body. Aortic aneurysm, if not treated surgically, can lead to death. 75% of women who develop aortic aneurysm have smoked at some point in their life. Smoking can cause inflammation, damage and stiffening of the artery wall, making the flow of blood more turbulent. Smoking can increase the chances of forming blood clots by making the blood thicker. Nicotine in smoking increases your blood pressure. In addition to PAD, Smoking also causes a specific disease called Berger's disease, a rare disease 
that causes acute inflammation and clotting of the arteries and veins in the hands and feet and can lead to loss of the hands and feet. It occurs in individuals between the ages of 20 and 40 years old who are heavy smokers. Each cigarette reduces your life by seven minutes. Tobacco smoke contains more than 4,000 harmful chemicals and more than 70 different cancer-causing substances. When a person smokes a cigarette, these harmful chemicals enter your lungs and through circulation spreads to the rest of your body. Research has shown that these chemicals damage your DNA and cause changes in your cell genome, making your cells multiply and grow out of control. The healthcare cost of cancer in the U.S. is more than $200 billion a year. Smoking increases the risk of cancer of the mouth, larynx, voice box, pharynx, upper throat, nose, sinuses, esophagus or food pipe, liver, pancreas, stomach, kidney, bladder, cervix, and ovaries. Besides this, smoking also increases the risk of some blood cancers or leukemia. The risk of laryngeal cancer is 35 times higher among smokers than non-smokers. Smokers are at greatest risk for bladder cancer. The risk of bladder cancer among smokers is more than twice that of non-smokers. After inhalation of cigarette smoke, the toxic substances in the cigarette are transmitted via the blood vessel to the kidney. The cancer-causing substances found in tobacco are filtered by the kidneys and concentrated in the urine. When the urine reaches the bladder, the cancer-forming substances damage the bladder, making it more susceptible to cancer. Smoking or secondhand smoking during pregnancy is very harmful to unborn babies. Toxic substances from smoking go via your lungs into your circulation. This leads to your baby being exposed to the dangerous chemicals contained in tobacco. This can decrease the amount of oxygen your baby gets and can damage your baby's lungs. Babies of smoking mothers are at increased risk of having birth defects such as cleft lip and palate, premature birth, low birth weight, and death. Pregnant women are also at increased risk of excessive bleeding during pregnancy, ectopic pregnancy, in which the baby may be outside the mother's womb or uterus and may be in the fallopian tube, which we call tubal pregnancy. The more cigarettes you smoke per day, the higher the risk of your baby developing these abnormalities. Babies who are regularly exposed to secondhand smoke have a higher risk of lung cancer, heart and lung disease, allergies, and sudden infant death. Not a single cigarette is safe when you are pregnant. In addition to its effects on several organs, smoking and the toxins within it suppress the body's immune system. This makes the person more susceptible to repeated infections and delays healing and recovery. Careless smoking is the leading cause of deaths from residential fires. Every year, almost a thousand smokers and non-smokers are killed in residential fires caused by smoking. U.S. fire departments responded to an estimated 90,800 smoking material fires. Smoking can also cause gum disease and bad teeth, as well as infertility. It also causes osteoporosis, which is the weakness of bone. In addition, it also causes premature aging. Smoking, once started, is very difficult to quit. Tobacco kills up to half of its users. Tobacco kills nearly 6 million people worldwide each year. Tobacco users who die prematurely deprive their families of income, raise the cost of health care, and hinder the economic development of their countries. Tobacco caused 100 million deaths in the 20th century. If current trends continue, it may cause 1 billion deaths in the 21st century. If something is not done now, say no to smoking the first time and every time.
love you, give it all you got Nicotine in your body wants to stay All the doubts you had, all the friends you lost huh, It's just a big old mess So just play it smart And be smart, don't stop Be smart, don't stop